Hi guys, I figured that it was time that I made a video about my Hobbywing Electronics. Uh, it's been a sponsor for me since January 2018 now, so already three years and counting. And I've been super happy with my Hobbywing equipment since then. And we've also had some uh, really strong results together. So in my opinion, it's the industry leader when it comes to speed controllers and motors. And I'd like to give you some more insight in the specific equipment that I use from Hobbywing and the different configurations that's available for different classes. So I got three cars here in front of me, uh, two T4s and one X12. Um, in this video, I'll explain the different uh, motors and speedos that I use and rotors and so on. And I'm going to make another video, probably that will be released next week which talks about uh, speedo settings because that subject alone deserves its own video because it's such a complex subject and i'd like to walk through the different settings on the speedo and what they do for for different classes so today we're just going to talk about the, the equipment that i have on the cars and next week we'll we'll deal with the with the speedo settings so i hope that that's a good idea and that you like these these kind of videos and uh, yeah sit back and enjoy so to start off i have my first t4 here in front of me this is my carpet car here so i got the the hobbywing xr10 pro uh, generation 2 g2 speedo mounted on the car and your first question may be uh, why is there no fan on the speedo and yeah, it's actually true, you can get away with running um, no speedo fan in modified because the speedo runs so cool anyway that it's not needed and you can keep the weight and the center of gravity uh, lower. So I also don't need to run a fan on the motor for the same reason. And for carpet racing in general, I'm running the, the 5 turn, the 5.0 motor with a optional 12.1 millimeter uh, rotor. So this rotor right here, which is the same as in the motor, it's the little bit smaller diameter rotor, which makes the, the bottom end smoother. So you have a bit less bottom end and a bit more RPM with a smaller rotor. So the motor comes with a 12.3 millimeters rotor, but I prefer to use the 12.1 because the power band is smoother and it prevents and limits wheel spin, which is important on carpet especially. Because the tracks are so small that you don't need you don't need that strong bottom end power that you'll need for outdoor racing. So for carpet racing, uh, speedo and motor without fan, five turn motor with 12.1 millimeters uh, rotor, and I'm gonna show you my asphalt car in a bit. But as for the um, for the gear ratio for carpet, normally. 7.4 uh, FTR, so on the X-ray T4 that means 110 and 28 is my gear ratio for most tracks. Um, the end belt timing usually at 35 degrees. Uh, I don't really play that much with end belt timing, usually around 35. You can go up to 37 or you can go down to 32, but it's within that range normally. You need to keep in mind that when you increase the end belt timing, you not only generate more heat in the motor, but you also increase the drag brake effect. So in fact, when you increase the end belt timing, the car is going to slow down uh, stronger. So you might need to compensate for that by using less drag brake, which is something we'll talk about next week. But the end belt timing, it affects the whole power band, the bottom end, the mid range, the top end and the brakes as well very important to remember. So to move on to my asphalt car. Asphalt car is as you can see with a fan on the speedo. It's got a fan on the motor, a 30 millimeters fan. In modified it's enough to run a 30 millimeters fan for the motor. Uh, for the stock classes however I do recommend a 40 millimeters fan for the motor. Um, this is from Hoodie, this fan. But you can use any brand fan, they're all pretty decent. So 
another difference for outdoor racing is uh, the motor wind. So it's a 4.5 turn motor instead of a 5 turn for uh, more overall power. But in most cases, I use the supplied rotor in this case, the 12.3 millimeters uh, rotor. So I usually I don't change it unless I'm looking for a bit smoother bottom end. As I said before, it can be for very low grip asphalt. Uh, it can be a good idea to use a 12.1 millimeters rotor as well uh, in the 4.5. But most of the time you'll be fine with the 12.3. And again, the end build timing, it can vary from 32 to 35 to 37, usually within that range. So more end build timing for a bigger track and less for a smaller track. And that's it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, another thing to mention, I use the supplied capacitor for the Speedo. The one that comes with the Speedo. It works really well. Um, but I can show you, however, we have a optional capacitor, which looks like this. It's the non-polarity capacitor. And this is really nice to use together with the G2 Speedo because it does what it says. It's a, a, a non-polarity capacitor. So when you reverse plug your battery, you don't break the capacitor. Um, you don't break the Speedo anyway, no, no matter which capacitor you use, because the G2 Speedo has a built-in uh, reverse polarity protection. But if you use this capacitor, you can uh, reverse plug the battery and nothing happens. Uh, it will all be intact. Then the format is also really nice. It's square, so it looks really good on the car. Um, I think that's it for touring car. I'm gonna show you my 12 scale in a bit. Uh, one more thing. Uh, the gear ratio for the, the 4.5 for outdoors. It depends a little bit on the track size. It can be, for a really small track, it can be as um, as high as 7.7 .7. but for a medium uh, size track um, around 7.4 so a 28 pinion with 110 spur gear and for a bigger size track with a longer straight usually a 29 pinion so a 7.2 FDR that's my um, gear ratios that that I, that I use normally I don't use anything outside of that range so you, you will only need uh, three pinions basically 27 28 and 29 if you always use the 110 uh, spur gear this is for the x-ray t4 which has an internal ratio of 1.9 so you need to, to set your gearing according to the the car that you use um, but again the fdr is between 7.2 to 7.7 .7 usually for both the 4.5 and the 5 turn motors Okay, so let's move on to 12 scale. So the 12 scale, I got my X1221 right here. In the past, we had as much as three different classes of uh, modified race globally. Now it's come down to two classes. Mostly it's six and a half turn blinky in EFRA in Europe and open modified in the US and Asia in Japan, for example. So you will need, obviously for um, six and a half uh, turn class, you'll need the 6.5 on-road spec motor, which is a motor specifically made for six and a half turn class, which has a lot of power output. And it works really well. It's probably the most used motor in that class. And for open modified racing, I prefer the three and a half turn motor. With six and a half turn, I prefer the supplied rotor, the 12.5 millimeters. But for open modified, for um, the three and a half turns, I prefer normally 12.3 or 12.1 millimeters rotor. So the gearing is very different for those classes. Usually um, for six and a half turn, I gear uh, a rollout around 53 millimeters. So that's a 33 pinion with an 80 spur it depends on your your uh, size of tires obviously but that's for a 41 and a half millimeters uh, rear tire and for open modified i usually use a rollout of around uh, 33 to 35 millimeters so that means normally uh, 23 or 24 tooth pinion with a bit bigger spur gears around uh, 92 
usually is what I run for Asperger in Open Modified. The Speedo is the XR10 Pro 1S HD. And HD means that it's got a bigger heatsink. Uh, you also have the original um, 1S Speedo, which has no extra heatsink. It's a little flatter. But for modified racing in general, I recommend the, the HD version, which has um, additional cooling, obviously. And if you run open modified, I recommend running a external fan. So I mount a fan here right in front of the Speedo. Uh, 25 millimeters fan, the small one that comes with the speedo, uh, but it's not needed for six and a half turns racing because the speedo runs uh, very cold in that class. And uh, end belt timing. So in the six and a half turns class, we use a lot of end belt timing, normally around uh, 40, uh, 45 degrees to get the most power output possible without overheating the motor, obviously. And in uh, open modified, usually around 30 to 35 degrees of end belt timing to have the most efficiency and the most uh, drivability. And yeah, that's the difference between the two classes. Um, this Speedo has a built-in capacitor, so you don't need to, to add any capacitor to it. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good Speedo. I've been using it for a long time, and next week hopefully I can uh, explain in detail about the different settings that we use for the for the speedos. So I hope that covers it um, See you next week when we're gonna talk about the, the speedo settings. So Thank you for watching